Dungeon Dragon uh, podcast panel. Uh, we've got our four players with us today. Of course, as always, leading the pack coming out here, we got uh, Barbara Dunkelman. <laughs> Followed, of course, by uh, Blaine Gibson. Mr. Chris Damaris. And finally, of course, uh, John Reisinger. Uh, this is fancy. This is nice out here. It's very nice. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, like how uh, we've got uh, physical character sheets and... Like, we, do, we don't trust that the internet's actually going to work. Chris was in a panic trying to get onto the Wi-Fi because he doesn't trust his own mask. So he's like, I need to get on TNT Beyond. We need to extend the panel by five minutes so Chris can get here. <laughs> it's a great bit. <laughs> um, it reminds me of... Uh... It reminds me of... Uh... Were anyone here last year for the Sticky Dragon panel? <laughs> I had to hobble up on stage in my little Bartlett. Oh, yeah. That took a while. Uh, uh, of course, those characters were I am dead. your dungeon master, Gustavo Sarola, but yeah! uh, I, I do not do this job alone by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, we've got Micah Reisinger uh, somewhere out there, I don't know where, and Ben. Right Ben's stand back up, out. Oh, there's Micah stand over there. Hey, stand up. up. Stand up. Yeah. Oh, and this, this is Ben bringing us pens. Ben! Ben, Ben, Ben! ben. Thank you, Ben. All right. Uh, it's going to take me a second here to finish getting settled, get my stuff open. So we can, got we today? can get going. Uh, t this is tough because I only have one monitor. You know, I always complain about how many monitors I have and how big they are. So this is, uh, is going to be a tough one. I've got six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven open mm. right now. I like I, how you still have the, the screen, though. I didn't know we were going to have this. This is cool. Yeah. I feel like I'm in middle school again. <laughs> now, Chris, this is called a player's handbook. Uh, normally, when you play Dungeons and Dragons, you have one of these. Did I sign this? Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> the rules that you like to break are right in here, Chris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> cool. Good to know. <laughs> I, I, I'm such a bad producer. I didn't know we were doing uh, grotesque characters. Oh, really? I was like, I was like, I got it easy. I can do mud any day. And then when you guys were like, we're doing grotesque, I was like, I got to do a tea today. Okay. <laughs> in front of a live audience. Yeah, sure. So. Well, don't worry. Micah wrote uh, plenty of NPCs with interesting yes! uh, accents for me to do. <laughs> Thank you, Micah. You gotta, uh, you gotta work for it. Yeah, I gotta work. Gotta work. Let's see how my Italian accent plays out. Uh, here a little bit. Let's I'm see. Sure hey, if Chris Pratt can do it, you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, do an Italian accent. He did a little one. <laughs> it's a me, Mario. Yeah. Hey, okay. it's me, Mario. <laughs> That's great. I like that. Yeah, thank you. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get things underway. Good day to all you gadabouts. Hover your way into the stinky dragon, imbibe our latest brew, all in a flutter float. It's a mixture of butterflies cream, nourish nosh syrup, cold branch brew, whipped wing cream sprinkled with air. One mouthful from this moth-eaten mug, you'll be ready to take anyone under your wing. Now, without further ado, I introduce you all to the party from the gothic world of Grotef, your adventuring party. First, this old man never makes mistakes, just clerical errors. It's <laughs> Barney Farney. Hello. <laughs> Second, this tiefling puts the can back in Thieves' Camp. It's Chip Haney. Woo! Hey there. I'm going to go around and shake everyone's hand individually. Here I go. <laughs> Keep going. All right. Hi there, Chip Haney. Pleasure to meet Third. you. He has chapstick for all of you. Either. Third, this little Either. girl always has veins on her brawny Either. brain. Either. It's Either. Elga Von Brad. Hi there, Chip Haney. Uh, hey there. Hell, I know you too. Hey, good to see you. Oh, God, wow. God, oh, gee, good to see you. Hey there. Oh. And finally, hey there. this oh, Eric Crokin monk hey, rarely lies. Either. Otherwise, sit. you'd sit. see right through them. It's Mati okay, Confucius. <laughs> Bonjour. Good, good to see you. Good to. Oh, hey. Oh. Is there any way we could? Oh, that's have, awful. That's uh, great. All right. Here's that one. Yeah. Uh, at the beginning of the show. I volunteer. <laughs> now, nab, Get him. nab some nectar. Let's nestle in, cause it's time for a noxious narrative. By the way, you did that in one take. I did yeah, that was one take. take. It's, I say that because you don't normally do it in one take. I rehearsed. 
<laughs> They're also hearing it without the voice filter over it, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you know, that's how I like my Gus, raw. Raw. Raw dog Yuck. and Gus. Um, so, uh, yeah, normally I'm not as worried when we're recording. It's like, if it takes me a couple takes, we're just going to do the best one. Yeah, yeah, Here it's yeah. like, oh, we're live. They're going to see me if I mess up. So yeah. I, I need to, you, I need you, to be on top of it. You brought your A game. You don't get to see the bowling that takes place behind the scenes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, everyone. Uh, so, you know, I don't, if you were here last year, like I think Barbara asked, you know, that we try to get a little bit of audience participation uh, when we have an audience like this. So... Uh, for this story, this will make more sense as we get into the story, but whenever anyone says apparition or aria, the audience must sing three notes in their best operatic voice. Oh. Oh. Can, we, can, we, can we practice that? Well, it's the audience. Do y'all want to practice? That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, whenever anyone says apparition, And then after they do that, the party must sing anything they say for the next 30 seconds. Wait, oh, what? yeah. Yeah. It's like a, we make them do something, but then we have to do something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct. Okay. And anytime I, I say, you know, we're talking and I say, which sounds like, we're going to call upon a random audience member to provide the sound effect. Oh, live Foley. Like. like that. Do we want to get a couple people lined up at the mics? We have mics that are going to be roving awesome, around. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, stop producing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we also, we, we just toyed uh, with a last minute idea here. Uh, we were talking about it this morning. Uh, oh, I got you, Micah. Uh, we're testing with it. Uh, we're testing it out this morning. Uh, we're going to do something we call audience inspiration, oh. which is um, whenever one of you rolls a d20 check uh, or attack or saving throw, you can, if you don't like the roll, you can elect to defer to the audience, and someone from the audience will randomly roll for you in, in its place. Oh. How, how many times can we do that? Once per this, uh, oh, okay. this recording. And the audience roll is the one that you have to takes. take that one. Copy that. Yes. All right. Who's got good luck hands? Woo-hoo! Okay. okay. All right. People. Are you all uh, loaded up up here? Everyone, everyone good to go? Oh, yeah. What are we doing? All right. Well, everyone, right off the bat, uh, make me a, a perception check. Sure. Oh, we're off to a good start today. <laughs> oh, no. I've got a mixture of in, in person and D&D &D beyond. This is hell. 18. 18. 18. I'm looking for my. Uh, you uh, played D&D &D yesterday. 18. I'll just sir. Person. <laughs> What do I see? Once, once Barney tells me what his role is, I'll be able to tell you. Ten. <laughs> are you sure? Yeah, are you a plus zero on perception? Uh, I'm looking. I'm a minus. It's, on, it's in front of you, on the piece of paper, underneath your oh. chin. <laughs> perception. Plus four. Plus four. So that is so 14. 14. There you go. There you go. Thank you. Everyone applaud Chris for his math. Okay. Chris, your nose is bleeding from that. <laughs> <laughs> the, the sheer exertion. Um, Elga and Barney, you wake up on a red velvet carpet in a candlelit room decorated with stone statues in dramatic poses. Kinky. <laughs> Chip and Matisse. I'm a child! <laughs> You're 400 years old. <laughs> <laughs> what? Chip and Matid, uh, you both of you notice that down the hall there's two stairways heading east and west, and there's a set of double doors heading north. East and west stairways, door north. Yeah, the last thing you all can remember is <clears throat> the last thing you all can remember is you were hired by uh, someone by the name of Major Arschlock to investigate a missing persons case. Okay. Arschlock. Arschlock? Mm -hmm. Why did he come to the two four most criminally like <laughs> like you know? This takes place after we get obviously, you know, vindicated and, and released on... For the murder of Wolfman. Yeah. Okay, all right. This is a, a time skip. My cloak is broken. Um, uh, Major Arschlock wanted you to investigate uh, a missing person, his uh, uh, fiancée uh, by the name of Casey Dulce uh, in the town of Kastrupe. Now, was Major with us in the hallway? Uh, I'll get to that in a moment. Uh, Kastrupe is populated by uh, squ squid wars, which we're all very familiar with. Uh, I don't like sponge boobs. <laughs> or good. Uh They're up. They're humanoids whose upper half is dwarf and lower half is squid. Uh, uh, <laughs> is it? No. <laughs> uh, while you were following up on leads near the Aria Theater, you all heard an alluring song. Uh. <laughs> Ow, my ears hurt. <laughs> I In song. It's Beautiful over here. Wow, look at this hallway. What interior design are those wood floors? 
<laughs> he sounds like a newsie. <laughs> Trying my That's best. That's my cigar. You're still another. another. <laughs> they didn't say apparition. Is it Aria? That's both, right? Oh. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, they didn't say apparition. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to sing as Elga. <laughs> you sang as Bart. That's very true. Different character. Different character. Uh, <laughs> you heard an alluring song, probably sang by the audience, that drew you into the doors, and the next thing. You knew you were uh, you were uh, you were waking up in here. Mm. Um, with, so we, we enter room and don't remember what happened. Yeah, it's kind of hazy, and now you're you're waking up uh, in this uh, um, in this room that you're in. I okay. need my muscle cream. <laughs> all right, whose turn is it to put on Barney's muscle cream? It's not mine at all. I I refuse to. No, try. you skipped out the last four times, Matid. It gets all over my feathers. Yeah, well, that's part of being part of this party. All right. <laughs> Yeah. Matite takes it and puts the cream on, on their beak and just is rubbing him. <laughs> there you go. Like a toucan against a branch. You missed a spot down by the buttocks. <laughs> Lower. I wrote the fan fiction like this one here. <laughs> uh, Matite uh, gets up, uh, stretches their wings, and tries to uh, uh, look around, see how, is there any sign of how we ended up here? Mm. Is there anything on the floor? Did anybody pee themselves? No comedy. <laughs> I don't like the accusation. <laughs> yeah, what do you think? Uh, make um, Let's call it make an investigation check. Yeah, I love that. All right. I, right there. Bird investigation. 17. Ooh. That's good. That's a really good one. Got good rolls today, John. Uh, Who? My feed. <laughs> <laughs> so you look around for anything out of the ordinary. Yeah. And you realize, you know, you, you, you examine the room a little more closely, and it looks like it could be the foyer for a theater. Uh, it's a candlelit room that's decorated with stone statues in dramatic poses. All right. Um, down, uh, down the hall are stairways leading up to the east and the west, as you previously uh, saw, and a set of double doors to the north. There's a single door to the south that you suspect maybe that's where you came in from. So it sounds to me like we're in, what it, it sounds like you're trying to describe like a theater kind of yeah, setting? Yeah, kind of like a foyer where you the first enter. stairs would be like, like mezzanine, that kind of thing? Exactly. Interesting. Uh, well, there's words. four ways to go and four of us. I think you should go as the south way. Uh, <laughs> and uh, because your investigation was so high, you do notice that each uh, uh, stone statue of a different squid wharf is uh, conveying a different emotion. Oh. Could I? How many? How, wait, sorry. How many are there? Four. There's four. Oh. Uh, could I go look at what emotions they're all portraying? Yeah. Roll me a d4. D4? Oh. D4 is the pyramid. Thank you. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> that didn't help at all. We have this. <laughs> uh, three. Three. You walk up to the first one closest to you, and it looks like a very sad squid wharf. Okay. Could, could I make a, also a sad face in front of him, and I say, I feel you. Oh. Like it's tough sometimes. <laughs> Elga, uh, why are you yes. so blue? What's the matter there, kiddo? Uh, am I choking? <laughs> 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 no, you're not choking. <laughs> you know, I, I have a theory. I think that I, I'm going to try that door just for the heck of it. Which one? Which one? There's a set oh. of double doors to the north and a single door to the south. Oh, uh, the double doors, because we came in through the south, I'm guessing. Yes. Uh, and if it's locked, I bet it has to do with these statues. These statues are suspicious. So can I go try the door? No, it's sad. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Barney. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so you walk up to the uh, double doors and try to open them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you open a, uh, you walk up to the doors and open them. What's your armor class? <laughs> <laughs> and there's 13. 13, okay, yeah. You open up the doors and it opens into uh, a large room. Oh. And you see rows of upholstered seats facing an elevated stage and a shallow orchestra pit, pit beneath it. Okay, I close the doors and I say... Uh, Opera. I don't know. Big, big room. Opera? Orchestras. Is it the Aria Theater? <laughs> I think I hear opera. You know, as luck would have it, I think it is. I, oh, I mean, I think it is. Ha-cha-cha-cha. <laughs> Jazz hands. <laughs> uh, what do you guys want to do? Uh, you want to mimic these statues did, for the heck of it? Did anything happen when Elga made the sad face to the statue? Make a perception check. Okay. 
come While she's doing that, I'd like to go to another statue. Sure, roll me a d4. Okay. Oh, actually, roll me a d6, sorry. It's a 15. Uh, nothing uh, out of the ordinary seems to catch your eye. Okay. Three. Uh, you walk up to one, uh, and it is depicting anger. It's a very angry-looking squid dwarf. Oh. Uh, I realize that I'm a Eric Cochran, and displaying emotions is hard with a beak. Uh... And I try to do a, an angry bird face. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> the, red, the red one or the yellow yeah, one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I try, yeah, I try to mimic it as well. All of a sudden, a pig busts down the door. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Breaks through the wall. Uh, make me a performance check. A performance. Lovely. That is uh, 16. Wow. Um, yeah, it's really, you know, you channel your anger, all of your compatriots get scared of you very briefly, uh, but nothing seems to happen with the statue. Perhaps you two should also go over and find a statue to mimic. Okie dokie. Mimic. Mimic. <laughs> Elders first, you go ahead, Barney. It makes sense you're playing a child. You have the, the humor of one. <laughs> Burn. Thank you. Wanna... you. <laughs> I rolled a wand at that much. Oh, thank you. Uh, you're on top of the game there. Uh, you walk up to one, and it's depicting the emotion of happiness. Oh! <laughs> I think there's a friendly-looking fellow up there. We should go say hi. Why don't you smile at him, Bernie? See I if am. anything happens. Yeah, Bernie, smile more, huh? <laughs> yes, you should smile more. <laughs> you be so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, baby cakes. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, no. Whoa. <laughs> Uh, make a performance check. Oh, I'd be happy to. If we're like performing emotions. Yeah, well, I mean, if you're not actually that emotion, yeah. you're, you're, you're performing it. 12. It's acti acting. Yeah. Acting. 12. Uh, yeah, you uh, give your best crooked smile to the squid wharf. Uh, uh, nothing seems to happen. Oh, Bell's palsy back, I see. <laughs> yeah. Do yours. All right, I go to the last statue. You walk up to the last statue, the last squid wharf. Let me guess. You want laughing. To, Hilarious. Do you want to recap of what we've done? Well, we've got we got anger from a deed. We got sadness all oh, from Elga. And we got happiness from Bernie. Happiness. Uh, uh, constipation. <laughs> that is a classic fourth emotion. Yes. Yeah. Constipation is saving throw. Uh, <laughs> 19. Uh, uh, I'm going to shit your pants. <laughs> <laughs> no swearing. Shit your pants. PG show. Uh, it's a surprise. Oh! Ah! You do a performance roll? Do a performance check. Voila! Come on! Shh. Plus four. A. Can I, can I also not? go? Ah. Oh, oh. Oh, oh! What did you roll first? A four. Plus yeah, a ro four. Roll again with advantage because uh, Barney scared you. That, there's a 20. Not a nat, just a 16 plus four. Oh, okay. Don't get excited. Not going yet. Not yet. Um, no, nothing seems to happen. Oh, so we're all for making those expressions and nothing seems to happen. Correct. Okay. Great job. <laughs> well, there goes five minutes of our lives. <laughs> I don't have much left. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Major Arschlock says... Uh, oh, your Major! Here? What? what? Where Major have you been? Arsh Major Arschlock uh, stirs and says, uh, uh, Mama Mia, what are we doing here? Oh. <laughs> No. Uh, that's the only try I'm oh, going to no. give this entire episode. Uh, let's keep investigating. Why the hands every time? That's it. <laughs> that's how you know it's Major Arschlock. If you see the hands. Uh, okay, well, at, at least let's remember the four emotions. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah that's yeah, smart. Yeah. Uh, Matid uh, nods and heads into the theater area. Actually, no. I want I want to go up the stairs. Ooh. Well, I go, do you want to head yeah, to the east or to the west? Let's just go to the east. Mm -hmm. Does everyone else follow, what? or are, are you all splitting up? First of all, I want to salute the Major. Congratulate <laughs> him on his, uh... Service. Yeah. Congratulate him on his <laughs> service. Congratulations, you're serving. <laughs> Congratulations. Or something. He's, yeah, he's wearing a, a Napoleon-esque blue short jacket that has epaulets on it. Uh-huh, you must like Matid. Uh, French. No? Okay. Uh, and he's already up the stairs at this point. <laughs> yeah. Well, I put a quick hand on him, and I say, listen, I know that you're fiancé is missing, and I myself have a missing wife, and 
it's not a good look. You know, you're going to get a lot of people thinking you murdered her, but <laughs> I believe you didn't, and I know I didn't murder my wife, Carol. This can't bite you in the butt at all. <laughs> this can't. Uh, he, uh, he chimes and says, uh, actually, not, you know, it's... Uh, no, I don't, your you, accent seems to you be... You may or not know this. <laughs> But uh, we were recently <laughs> married, eh? Oh. We, we eloped. Oh. Eh? You know, I feel like when there is a missing persons case, it's often the person closest to them. Mamma mia. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Your mom? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Well, hopefully the uh, till death do us part part doesn't come into play here, but... Uh, oh, no. Oh, no, yeah. We're going to try to find her. Don't you worry, Major. Okay, I'm not, I, I think it's going to be offensive if I keep doing that. i got to <laughs> dial it back a little. I met a bunch uh, of, like, Canadians. They're all fine with it. Right, Barbara? You're good. He's talking about He's being accent. Italian. No, I know, but I'm saying we can do accents. It's fun. <laughs> Go ahead, guys. The Canadian said it's okay. The Canadian said it's okay to do yeah, Italian yeah. accents. I got okay. friends that are I Canadian. There's two right there. We're yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I'm sorry, but... It's Canadian. Italians. Did you say you were going up the east uh, I stairs? The east stairs. Okay, uh, does everyone else follow? Or Elga do you, follows. Elga follows. Yeah. Barney, are you doing your four directions for party members idea? Or I'll go, follow? yes. <laughs> I'll, I'll go, I'll follow. Okay. I'll follow uh, along as well. You climb. Uh, Except Barney gets in a little chair that goes up the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, you uh, climb up a very short set of, if, you, if I pause, it's because I'm trying to tab between my 11 different it's windows. because you're bad at DMing. I'm bad at DMing. Yeah. Normally all that gets edited out from the final episode. Thank you, Michael. Checking it. Um, you uh, walk up a, some, a small set of stairs and you come up uh, upon a marble hall that leads to a row of, um, of private boxes on this balcony. Uh, each of them has a number on the door. Wait, what? Uh, private... Like, 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 like private seating. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh, see, seating boxes. <laughs> like, like for an opera where there's like boxes. Yeah, 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 yeah box yeah. seats. Yeah, thank Careful, you. Careful, everyone. Honest Abe met his untimely end in one of these boxes. Classic D&D &D character. If I could put money <laughs> on you making an Abe Lincoln joke, I would, <laughs> Why? I would put all my money it on it. It was a tragedy. <laughs> Gone too soon. How many of the boxes were there? There's six. There's They're six numbered one through six. Numbered one through six. Uh, I go up to just number one. It's the one closest to you. Thank you. Um, and I uh, check the door, like do a little bit of listening. Birds have great ears. Okay. Uh, make a perception check. Yeah, why not? That's a uh, beefy five. <laughs> uh, no, you don't, you don't hear anything. Okay. I try now. Hello. Is, an, is anyone in there? Uh, do you have any cardboard? Four score and seven. <laughs> <laughs> It's a box seat. <laughs> no. <laughs> you you get no reply, Elga. No reply. No reply. Uh, and, uh, do you listen in? Yes. Oh yeah, make a perception check. Not twenty twenty three. Not twenty. We should have made a rule. Anytime we get a nat 20, everybody in the audience has to do a backflip. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Our insurance can't handle that. <laughs> uh, We've been one really cool try. <laughs> uh, no, you don't hear anything from the other side of the door. Okay. Uh, oh, is, are they open? Uh, my tea goes to push the door open. Yeah, it opens up. No problem. <laughs> oh. I, was, I was just trying to investigate before we went into a, a closed room. Yeah. Could uh, Elga run down the hall and just push on each of the doors <laughs> just to see if all of them are open? Yeah, sure. Why not? Elga disappears from sight as she runs down the hallway. Get back la, 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> Opening uh, all of the doors. Uh, no, they are all unlocked. Okay. Uh, well, so it's uh, the way it's positioned, just to give you like a little bit of clarity, it's the first five are kind of at a diagonal like this, and then there's like a slight turn in the okay. in the hallway, and the number six is at the end. Yeah. Just because of the shape of the, the room, mm -hmm. the, the theater. Okay. So you're in number one? Oh, we, were, we were at number one. Uh, yeah, I I want to... I wanna, uh, okay, the door's open. Yeah. I'm looking into it. Yeah, it's like a red velvet lined box. It's about eight feet tall on the inside, and it you know, has a very good view overlooking the stage. You presume someone well-to-do probably... Um, occupies this box typically no one's in it uh no there is nobody inside of it i cautiously take one step forward i love how scared you are yep okay yeah you it's a in. theater they're spooky <laughs> okay you, 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 <laughs> <laughs> you step in 
carefully. Nothing seems to happen. Okay. I, uh, how many seats are in there? There are mm, four seats. Do uh, any of these boxes, like box seat rooms, look different than the others? Oh, yeah, because you ran through them all. Uh, the one at the very end looks a little different. It's kind of like around the corner. Uh, roll me a perception check, Elga. Smart question. 20. Good, good roll. Oh. Not Nat, but 20. I am so perceptive. <laughs> I see everything. Don't ask me to investigate, though. <laughs> Another situation. So you, you do notice that number six is different. Like I said, it is around the corner, so it's a little bit bigger. Uh, and uh, it. Uh, you also notice that by the door going into it, in ornate script, uh, is the name Major Arschlock. <gasps> oh. Uh, Can I go into number wh- six? Well, Ow. she's the one who found it, so you don't even know yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just letting uh, yes, the person who investigated take their, yes. their take. Matid is halfway into box one, and Elga noticed that over on box six. Did you want to do something about that? Yeah, I'll, I'll come out and tell everybody. Okay. Um, guys, I think we should go to number six. Uh, Major, I believe it is your box seat, is it not? Uh, Major says, uh, oh, yes, indeed. I've watched many wonderful performances from there. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually an Italian accent, just the hands. Yeah. When it's it's the regional dialect. Yeah. Did you, when did your uh, wife, you said? Yes. When did she go missing? Was it during an opera performance? Were you maybe occupying the, the, the box seats when it happened? Uh, no, it was uh, shortly after we... No, it was shortly after <laughs> we eloped. Uh, we were not at the, at, at the theater at that time, though. Okay. Do, you, do you like going to the theater? Does she like going to the theater, or is it both of you? Oh, we're both patrons of the art. <laughs> uh, Matid enters the sixth box. I okay. Uh, and I sits in a chair. Yeah. Oh. Uh, you all, um, so you're following. Matid said they were going in first, so I will say, you do notice, Matid, that uh, when you walk into box six, the air feels a little chilly. Uh, Even though uh, they're a ghost? Yes. I feel things. Don't be mean. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I thought you make air chilly, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can still feel it. No. Uh, yeah, I sit in the seat. Uh, you go to sit in the seat, and as you're about to sit down, uh, you notice that there is a body occupying Oh! The seat. Oh! We found her! <laughs> <laughs> it's, it, it's the decaying body of a male uh, squid wharf. Oh. I jump in and I say, Aha, it is I, John Wilkes Booth. Bang, bang. <laughs> how, how, are there other bodies? No, just this one. Just the one in there. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. I'll check the pulse. You check the pulse? Okay. Uh, Barney goes in to uh, make a, what is it? Uh, uh, Show me where Barney check. checks yeah. the pulse. <laughs> we'll have to see what the role is. We'll yeah, okay. Barney. Chris, I'm the body. Tell, show us how Barney touches the body. <laughs> it's a weird court case. He goes, <laughs> Fifteen. He's a, Fifteen. He's a terrible cleric. <laughs> <laughs> Barney uh, goes up to check the pulse uh, of the uh, decaying uh, male squid wharf, and its eyes shun- suddenly shoot open. Oh no! It locks eyes with you, Barney, and shouts, "Do you hear the music?" Oh! Uh, make a <laughs> make a grapple check as it tries to grapple you. Oh no! I said a grackle check. So, and it's like, he's not Mateen. Athletics. Bird. Uh, yeah. Athletics or strength. Is this a, like a humanoid type creature? There's a squid, squid wolf. Half squid, squid half wolf. Okay. Yeah. Does a, and by any chance when they do it, there's a, a chandelier uh, lower from the ceiling. You hear organ music. <laughs> 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 no. Dang it. 15. 20. Uh, the squid wolf uh, uh, firmly grasps you. Uh, once again screams, do you hear the music? And then explodes into dust. Oh! Oh! I, he's he's all gonna be okay. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you, listener, did you know the best way to support Tales from the Stinky Dragon is to support us through a first membership? You can directly support us. And on top of that, you get something. You get ad-free episodes. Yeah, it's only $5.99 a month, and you get access to all the Stinky Dragon stuff, including Second Win, our bonus show, where we go deep dives into, like, the week's episode. You get, like, behind the DM information. You get insider knowledge from Micah, the world builder. It's great. If you want to find out more information, head over to stinkydragonpod.com slash first. Get more information, and hey, sign up today. Do it. Want to get your hands on some Stinky Dragon merch? Head over to store.roosterteeth.com. Check out Tales from the Stinky Dragon merch, like our grotesque player character apparel, Burble Gerbil mugs and shirts and much more. Again, store.roosterteeth.com. 
Hey, you stinkies, you can't get enough of that stinky soundtrack? Well, head on over to Spotify or wherever you stream your music where you can find all the music written and composed and performed by my brother, Micah. Several of the albums include epic encounter music to use in your own D&D campaigns, or you can make your daily commute or chores that much better or that much more tense. Roll a d20 for traffic. (laughs) Go listen to the music right now wherever you stream music from. Well, hey there, Chip Haney here. Salutations, my stinky supporters. Are you selling a little or a lot? Shopify helps you do your thing however you cha-ching. In case you don't already know, the Shopify is the global commerce platform that helps you sell at every stage of your business. From the launch of your online shop stage to the first real life store stage, all the way to did we just hit a million dollars stage? Shopify is there to help you grow. And no matter where you're selling, Shopify has you covered from their all-in-one e-commerce platform to their in-person POS system. They also help you turn your browsers into buyers with the internet's best converting checkout. 36% better on average compared to other leading commerce platforms. It's great for any business. It's easy to use are you selling magical or non-magical weapons doesn't matter it's perfect for you plus shopify powers 10 percent of all e-commerce in the u.s as well as millions of other entrepreneurs of every size across 175 countries shopify's award-winning help is there to support you your success every step of the way because businesses that grow grow with shopify sign up for a one dollar per month trial period at shopify.com slash dragon all lowercase Go to shopify.com slash dragon now to grow your business, no matter what stage you're in. Shopify.com slash dragon. He doesn't feel very good, Mr. Stark. (laughs) (laughs) Do not breathe in, Bonnie. (laughs) Breathe in. (laughs) Oh, uh, did any, um, when he exploded, did any blood happen to splatter in his <laughs> Ew, that's like dead blood. Uh, no, it was uh, very decayed and... Oh, gross. Yeah, uh, turned into dust. Yeah. Can I, can I bring the Major in? I'm gonna have him under my arm say, Hey there, Major, uh, the dead guy here in the, uh, in your booth. My word, my word! <laughs> What's up with that? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know who this man was, or Swing. I don't know who this person was. Do you recognize his dust? <laughs> <laughs> can I see if he's lying? Make an insight check. Oh. Oh, that's not good. That is a four. You can always use audio inspiration if you want. Oh, yeah. Audience inspiration. Who, what do I do? How I do think, we do this? I think Ben, ben is on it. Yeah. Do you want a dice? I got some dice for him here. Ah. I'll throw dice at Ben. Athletics running through the crowd. All right. Yeah. Yeah, Ben said uh, he's going to roll for athletics as he runs through the crowd. Oh, thank you. They told me my back chair leg is broken, and they don't want me to fall backwards. Oh, no. It'd be funny, though. Make a constant uh, dexterity uh, check. Uh, All right, Ben's uh, finding someone to roll that audience inspiration. Oh, no, he's getting a mic. What's your What's your modifier? Uh, for into, uh, what was it? Insight. Insight. It's like a minus one. Minus so one. Whatever you minus, roll, one minus one modifier. All right, we got someone ready. They're wearing a smart shirt, so let's make this good. Smart is king. Smart king. Eleven. So okay. 10. 10. Uh, <laughs> thank yeah. you. It's better than a four. Uh, you, you do not think that the major is misle- trying to mislead you about this. Okay. This man did not kill his wife. <laughs> no way. I mean, this is not, that was not his wife, I think. I'm just saying, no. he's a straight shooter. <laughs> I, uh, not a murderer. I leave and check five. All right. Uh, you walk out and uh, as... Um, Chip and uh, the Major are having a conversation, telling old war stories. Uh, you leave box six and walk over to box five, uh, which is, you know, pretty close, right around the corner. Uh, make a... Oh, actually, you walk in, and this one is a, a little smaller than, the, than box six was, but it's still very nicely decorated overall. And uh, you walk in, and you look, and there's a... You see on the, one of the seats a playbill. Oh. Wait, uh, what's on the playbill? Cats. The worst play. <laughs> uh, it's a playbill for a... The, it outlines the three acts of a play called Ooh. Triangulo Amoroso. What's the three acts? What, <laughs> what are the three acts? The, they just act one, act two, act three, or they have names? Canzone, Copione, and Spada. I'm hungry for Italian food. Canzone, com- what? Copione. Copione. And spada. Calzone. And spada? Yeah. <laughs> spada. Can I listen? 
for music. And I'll pull up my new ear horn. Wait, I don't have that yet. Y'all don't know about that. That's not canon. <laughs> Erase that from your memories. You, you all, what? Well, I don't yeah. know what you're talking about. Yeah. Uh, you, so uh, you just, just want to try to listen for music? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, make a... Make a perception check. By the way, do any of you speak Dwarvish? Dwarvish? I do. I thought you were asking the audience. And that's a 14. <laughs> I might speak to her. Anybody out there? I think I do. Uh, I don't. All right, let's do Yiddish. Yiddish? Mm -hmm. Nope, looking for Dwarvish. Yeah, I got Dwarvish. Dwarvish. I got Dwarvish. 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 Dwarvish is based on Yiddish. Mm. Oh, is it? So, um, no, you don't hear any music. I'm going to finish seeing if anyone else uh, I do not. Dwarvish. I'm going to guess no. Is, it, is that a no for you too, Blaine? No. No. I don't know why I'm looking. I really don't think that Elga speaks Dwarvish. You never know. You might have just randomly tapped it. it it's under your uh, uh, features and traits. I am so right, right up here. Elvish Goblin Common. Nope. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, cling on. So you, you don't speak it, but you notice that the playbill also has uh, uh, some Dwarvish script on it as well. Monsieur Major. Oh. <laughs> See? What do they say? In, in, yeah. Yes? Yeah. Is it, yeah. C. C? Okay. C. C? Uh, could you come here for a second? We oui. see. Si. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are bilingual. <laughs> <laughs> so interesting. Do, by, by any chance, could you read this playbill it back to us? Triangulo amoroso, canzone, copione, spada. Then what's the dwarvish parts? Oh, I, I don't read a dwarvish. <laughs> oh, I thought he. I, what, what kind of creature is he? So you do. He's a um, squid dwarf. He, he can read dwarvish. You can read dwarvish. Yeah. Ask Barney what it says. I what? I've what does it say, Barney? Oh, okay, I'll read it. <laughs> what does it say? I didn't hear that Barney said. <laughs> in, in Dwarvish, uh, it, it translates to love triangle. <gasps> oh. One is song, two is script, three is sword. Song, sword, script, script, and, and then sword. sword. Okay. Uh, Mr. Major, uh, did your new wife have another lover that you know about at any point? Oh. oh, how dare you? How dare you? <laughs> well, did you? How dare you? <laughs> hey, I checked for insight on that one. Yeah. Uh, make a yeah, make an insight check. Okay. I just want to say how dare you is not yes or no. So. <laughs> uh, by the way, um, uh, Barney, you start sneezing a little bit. You okay. you let off. <laughs> Gross. 16. A gross old man uh, a sneeze. Um, you feel like he may have been evading the question a little bit. Yeah, he was. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> yeah. Um, he wasn't just indignant. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's, go to, let's go to four. Uh, uh, could I ask a major question? Yeah. Uh, are, are you uh, familiar with this, uh, the play that, that is on this playbill? You, you, you frequent the theater? Oh, Triangulo Amoroso. Love Triangle. Right, that's not an answer to the question I just yes, asked. Yes, yeah, see. Go. Yeah, you seem to be evading all the questions <laughs> that we are giving you. Yes, see, yeah, he, he, knew the name. he knew the name. What do you okay. want? Well, I, I asked you, are you familiar yes. with it? What's, what, is there something see, uh, that we should know about this play? Is, is there, uh, what's the story about? Give us the spark notes. It's, uh, <laughs> uh, okay, don't look too much into this. <laughs> All right. Aren't we investigating your wife's missing person? Also, did my you wife wrote this play. <laughs> oh, oh. It, it, you're going to think it means a lot, but it, it, she just she's a she's a very accomplished local playwright. Okay. Are you telling us metagaming not to look too much into this detail, or are you major to tell us not to? No, look? I mean it's like you're going to blow it up, like it's something when it's not. Uh, someone said they were going to check the next one. Yeah, I go to four. Uh, can, <laughs> yeah. So. All right, you go over to four. So on. Barney starts sneezing again. I'm sure. It is. Can I can I check to see what he's why what's making him sneeze? What's making him uh, sneeze? Probably all that dead dust. <laughs> is that what? Okay, I just didn't know if it was. I you know sometimes you write in things that are like you know it's like oh this is a clue. Yeah. He's sneezing because there's a virus in the building. It was after he read the. Translation of the dwarvish that he starts. Yeah, hearing. yeah, but I, I think oh. it's I think because he inhaled Met dust. Metagaming, I forgot about it. <laughs> oh, okay, uh, that's Gus's way of saying like move on. Yeah, no, don't don't worry, that, 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 you don't vein. need to focus on that. Yeah. All right, four. 
Yes. Uh, you walk into uh, four. Make a let's call it a investigation check. Okay. You good at investigating? Uh, apparently, that's not bad. Thirteen. Okay. Uh, and a bloody top hat. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stop with the Abe Lincoln jokes. That's three. You find uh, in this booth. We find Steven Spielberg. Ah. <laughs> uh, there's something hidden in the corner. A potion. Oh. Well, I take it. And, and down it in one go. Ah, oh, what the heck? I'll drink it. <laughs> I'm parched. We've been going all around this theater, singing, investigating, thinking about my missing wife. Making faces at statues? Making silly faces at statues. I'll drink it. Did anyone else go in with you to that box, or was it just you by yourself? I think he's the only one who said he went in there. It's just me. I, but I did proclaim four. You, oh, that's true. Uh, you drink it and nothing seems to happen. Maybe it was just water. Maybe it was stale. Uh. Can we, uh, could, could we get uh, some foley on that? Uh, well, yeah. What, what, what does that? Uh, what does him drinking sound like? He's got a good drinking sound. I want. I want to hear it. <laughs> I just like everybody's just doing that. How about that? On three, do your best drinking sound. One, two, three. That was a terrible sound. It was a mixture between <laughs> people going glug 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 and other people going. <laughs> it sounded like a bunch of snakes getting drowned. <laughs> I feel like, like, a, like a toilet line or something is going to break. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you really don't feel like anything happened. Mm, must have been nothing. Uh, could Elga come into the same room and, and look at Chip? Yeah, you walk into the same box. Uh, Chip's gone. <laughs> <laughs> but wait. Okay. Uh, Chip! You don't know where he went. Chip! Elga! You're, Elga! He's, his, his voice is coming from right in front of you. Oh. Elga starts smacking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, slap fight. Okay, here we go. I walk into four and see what's happening. Uh, Elga slap fighting something that's not there. <laughs> it's Chip, I swear. He's right here. Is, are you okay? Is, 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 is uh, yeah, it appears that Chip has turned invisible. Do I know this? If, what's your intelligence? In real life, or? <laughs> <laughs> it is uh, 12. Yeah, you're pretty sure you know. Yeah, you okay. know. Okay. Well, gang, I got thirsty, and I found a potion, didn't read what it was, <laughs> took a chance, and now I'm invisible. Could uh, Elga take her cape off and put it on Chip oh. so she knows where he is at all times? Yeah, make a... Um, call it a perception check to try to guess where he is. Okay. Coming in. She just throws her robe over the balcony and just goes out into the theater. The 14. 14. Uh, I don't resist. Yeah, you, uh, you're able to get it pretty pretty precisely uh, onto him. And then I, I go, oh, look at me, I'm Matid. Ah, wee wee, ha ha ha. <laughs> I go grab Barney and point him at Matid. I'm going to miss the show. Point him at Matid? Yeah, and at, uh, at uh, Chip. Oh, okay. I, and, wait, and just and try to shake him to make him sneeze. I go, look, he's cosplaying as Dr. Strange's cape. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, uh, Barney sneezes again. No dust is coming out, oh, but okay. yeah, he's. Um, you may have caught some old man cold. I don't know. We'll find out in two to three days. Great, fun, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to do something a little different. Okay. What, uh, uh, across, we're on one side of the theater. What Correct. do we see on the other side? On the other side, you see almost like a mirror image of boxes, a box seat okay, so on six, the other side. Six box seats. Yes. Over on the other side is a Matid, an Elga, an invisible <laughs> chip. And that'd be freaky. Uh, is there, down in the theater, is there anything from this higher vantage point that we can see? Like anything in the seats or... Corpses, uh, you know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, you see those rows of... Se well, I guess only Chip saw this earlier, but, you know, there, you can get a better vantage point on those rows of upholstered seats facing the stage. Uh, the curtain's lowered. Uh, there are two massive chandeliers hanging beside the stage Ooh. Uh, from the 40-foot high ceilings, and they seem to be illuminating four spots, four different seats in the... Uh, what would you call it? In the seating? In the, in the auditorium. Uh, there you go. Um, mm. Could I... Orchestra seating would be what it is. Uh, could uh, I do a quick little little fly around those four seats? Kind of uh, speed this up a little bit? Ah. Ooh. Uh, a bird in the theater. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Someone let it out. <laughs> uh, it's sad when you see that. Uh, yeah, you uh, hop out and uh, do a little aerial reconnaissance, and you see that the four seats that are being illuminated are occupied by uh, four lifeless bodies. Uh-oh. Oh. We got a problem uh, here in this theater. This must have been a really boring show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Good. Uh, do, do I, um, are they all squid dwarfs? Squid dwarves. 
what, what, what squid dwarfs is the dwarves dwarves squid dwarves um yeah um yes they are they all uh, appear to be f- uh, four squid dwarves okay and then while i'm doing a little circle can i also do just a pass of the other six box seats that are on the other side and just see what i can just kind of quickly they, they look very much like a mirror image of the ones you're in where five are on one side and then the six that kind of hang hooks around uh, off to the side any bodies um, no, you don't see any bodies. Uh, you, da, 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 sorry, one second, loading. Um, yeah, there are no bodies on that side. And then I can, I, uh, I'm finishing up. I'm sorry, I'm just commandeering this entire thing. I'm just going to come back around, pass by one through three, and check those as well as I land in four. Um, one, you look, you take a quick peek into one through three, and nothing out of the ordinary. There's no bodies, okay. or if that's what you're looking for. Nothing, ex- nothing exceptional catches your eye, actually. Okay. Sure. Any other delicious potions? Mm. <laughs> uh, delicious uh, potions that you'll drink without questioning anything? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, uh, Matisse does not spy any of that. Okay. Well, how long do, I assume, invisibility potions last? Make an arcana check. Okay. Forever. <laughs> 13. Uh, you think in your, um, your knowledge of them, they typically last about an hour. Okay. Oh. You have a plus one on Arcana. Negative one. Oh, you have a negative one? I thought I saw a plus, sorry. Oh, let's but, go see the play. Yeah. <laughs> yes, uh, there seems to be bodies down there as well that are illuminated oh, by the sun people. chandeliers. Um, hey, hey Mateen, well, can you give me a ride down to one of the bodies? I kick him off. <laughs> <laughs> Just Thanks. a cape flying down. <laughs> you see a cape, an ascending cape. <laughs> it's an opportunity for you to do some really cool athletics. Yeah. I, I, I unarm strike him. And then I, I, I try to guide down like one of those bats. <laughs> or uh, the one of those Like squirrels. a sugar glider? Yeah. Flying squirrel? So you're going face first. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, but make... if he becomes a bat before I do, I'm going to have words. <laughs> make a dexterity saving throw. All right. Mm-hmm. Uh, ha, 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 ha. That's a 10. Mm. No audio inspiration left for you, huh? That's not allowed. You, you did it you once already. Had one. <sighs> Yeah, you do your best uh, attempt at flying like a sugar glider or a flying squirrel, uh-huh. uh, but you uh, land face first into a row of chairs. Uh, <laughs> oh, the play is starting! <laughs> uh, down below, and you take <laughs> six points of damage. Oh, God. Okay. I come back up with a missing tooth and be like, dang it, <laughs> this happened at hockey practice. <laughs> so, uh, make, I, a, make an investigation check. Yeah, uh, you down there now. Okay. <laughs> I'm invisible. Ba-ba-da-ba-ba. That's a 20. Not nat. 17. Plus 3. Okay. Maybe it's because you came down face first into the, uh, <laughs> into the chairs. <laughs> uh, but you see... You, you, you see... Uh, you discover a small fingernail covered in blood and signs of a struggle. Ooh. Hey, gang, I found a fingernail covered in blood and I have a concussion. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say blood? Elga jumps down. <laughs> Elga does flying squirrel down. Just, yeah. Save some for me. Can I, do you want me to attempt to catch you? Sure. All right, I try to catch Elga. Aim for the thing you can't see. The Please, row, I row. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, make a, you make a strength check, Chip. Elga, you make a dexterity check. All right. Okay. That's uh, 16. <laughs> Ooh. Coming in. I think I tripped on the rail. Oh, that's not a good one. It's a four. 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 Do you want to use your audience inspiration? Sure. Ben, can we get an audience inspiration? Can you save Elga? <laughs> Make me jump. If you jump. don't, it's your fault. <laughs> oh, we got Andrew here. Hey, Andrew. This is the guy that makes your thumbnails. Oh, oh, nice. He, like, designed our characters. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, all of our, a lot of the art is all done by Andrew. Oh, you, oh you 20? Here you go, buddy. There you go. Did you not have a dice with you? <laughs> it's a... Uh... Don't mess it up. What? 18. 18! Whoa! Plus... Oh. Thank you, sir. Yeah. What's your strength? It's a plus one. So, so 19. 19. 19. Yeah, Elga, you trip a All little right, bit. All right, now, Barbara, jump off the stage. <laughs> yeah. You trip a little bit, but you recover uh, with your bat-like reflexes. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> manage to, uh, to right yourself and... Uh, Chip catches you very gracefully down. And there. I had the time of my <laughs> life. <laughs> and I owe it up to you. That's <laughs> so cute. Now give me the fingernail. <laughs> okay, there you go. And then I put it up to her. her. 
She there's, starts, the, there's a fingernail. She Investigate. Just start sucking on it like a sunflower seed. <laughs> I would, except I think we need it probably. For <laughs> <laughs> You're like dibs afterwards. Yeah. Um, I float down as well. Okay. I'll take Bre- the- break a hip. I'll walk around. <laughs> I'll, talk, I'll walk with the major and be like, "Okay." The, the, so your uh, wife wrote this play. Did you know any of the actors or actresses? Uh, well, it's a standard stage company. They're always here. Yes. So yes. Oh, were you friends with any of them? Friends? No, no. Oh, more than friends? <laughs> no, 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 not at all. Okay. So while we wait for an hour for Barney to get down, but <laughs> <laughs> uh, I. Can yeah. I also just mention first, I don't know if it was mentioned when you introduced us, Elga's a vampire. <laughs> I just want to say that in case people here don't know that and why I'm obsessed with blood. Elga's a vampire, two humans, one ghost. Oh, no. ghost. Tiefling. Tief- well, uh, sorry, humanoids. Uh, uh, How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> don't you see the horns? <laughs> yeah. Duh. <laughs> yeah, um, so there's a, you know, this fingernail was covered in blood and this, like I said, there's signs of a struggle. Uh, it's like tentacle marks on the ground leading up to the stage and seemingly leading backstage. Oh. Uh, do squid dwarfs have arms it's on top and then squid... Bottom squids. squids. Okay. Correct. Okay, so then they would have fingernails. Correct. Yes. Ah. And uh, when they walk, they would leave tentacle marks. Oh. Is, is there one of the illuminated, bo- illuminated bodies uh, close to us? Yes. Uh, they're, they're all spread out throughout the, um, this room, but yeah, there's one fairly close. Okay, I will go and uh, pers- uh, check on one. What do you mean check on one? What does that mean? I don't know, go look at it. Yeah, it's a, a, a dead squid dwarf uh, just laying, sitting there in the, in the chair, and the air feels cold around it. I stand as far back as you can and just, like, touch it with a feather mm-hmm. just to see what happens. Its eyes uh, shoot open, and it runs at you, screaming, Do you hear the music? I drop kick it. <laughs> <laughs> make a, an arm sh- or, yeah, make your attack roll. <laughs> I was ready for that. <laughs> That's a 23. Come at me, dead man. <laughs> uh, yeah, you hit it, and it explodes into a cloud of dust. Uh, that looks so cool, like a Mortal Kombat fatality. Yeah. Finish him! <laughs> uh, the air uh, fills with dust. Uh, make a constitution save. I remember I stepped back, and I, I kicked yeah, that Yeah, but guy. it charged at you. Yeah, but my legs are long. How what long? am I doing? Uh, constitution saving throw. And it keeps saying, do you hear the music? Yes. Uh, constitution save. Just say no. Maybe it thinks you do and it's angry about it. It's gone. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's dust now. Oh, that's only a nine. Yeah. Uh, you get dust all in your nose and you begin sneezing too. You and Barney are sneeze brothers. Not okay. Hey, can we try something out? They keep chasing you when you wake him up. Chased him first. Chased him, chased you. They can see ya, all right? I'm invisible. Oh. Let's wake one up. You guys go away, and then I'll see what it does. Maybe it, you know, goes to its day job. Maybe, Perhaps. Maybe give me back your, my cloak. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here's your cloak. There Perhaps you, you could go and uh, investigate one of the other ones over there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I do yeah. that. Okay, so you all, like, stay back. Go back. And, and let, let, Chip. let Chip do his magic. How, how are you going to disturb this, uh, this body? May I? Oh, go ahead. Oh. Oh, a little slap on the face. Bless you, Chris. Uh, he didn't know what he was agreeing to. He didn't know what he was agreeing to. Did you see the look of surprise on his face? Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, you, uh, you give it a little slap on the face, and its, uh, it's eyes uh, shoot open. Uh, and uh, once again, it exclaims, Do you hear the music? And then looks around wildly. <laughs> And hold still. And then explodes into a cloud of dust. Ah! Make a constitution saving throw. Okay. That's a nat 20. Oh, okay. Okay. I wish we always had have, people have cheering for our nat 20. Yeah, it feels good. Yeah. Have we made it down? I mean... Yes, 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 yes. Can I ask about the, the fingernail? Oh, yes, let me... Th- let me take a look. <laughs> oh, so you were sucking on it? Just, what, <laughs> what, would, what, what would that sound like? Of what? Sucking on, sucking on, on a finger? finger? All these wet noises. One, two, three. Uh, sucking on chili dogs outside the taste freeze. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Major. Be like, Does this look like your wife's fingernail? Yes, and there's blood on it, see? Well, she had blood. <laughs> but did, oh, she, but have did she have her nails painted or anything? In blood. Yeah, were they painted? <laughs> I, I don't know if this is her nail or not. I, I don't know how I would tell. I don't know. Nail polish, perhaps? No. 
You never went on a spa day with your did, wife? Did you have long fingernails? No. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I remember Carol's fingernails. <laughs> Making love at night. Matita. <laughs> Matita immediately Loving starts Lee heading. Grants. Okay, all right. Starts heading along those tracks towards the stage. Okay, yeah, they um, they wind uh, you know down uh, past the orchestra pit up onto stage, and then. Um, lead, you know, behind the curtain back. Like I said, the curtain was down. Mm. Okay. While this is happening, Elga runs up to the front of the stage in one of the seats and, like, sits in it, pretends to pass out, and goes, now wake me up. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to do it? I'll do it. I'll do it. You wake her up? Right. Do you hear the people sing? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where you were going with that. <laughs> um, I hop up on the stage. Okay. Do you uh, just stay here in front of the curtain, or do you peek behind it? I do a, a quick little soft shuffle. You hear a lone clap from the audience. <laughs> Yay! I'm your biggest fan. A bow. Encore. Encore. <laughs> um, is it the were the tracks leading to uh, like a side of the stage or in through the center, like through curtains that would split in the middle? Uh, through the center. Okay. Uh, Perhaps the party would like to uh, join me on the stage and we could investigate what is going on up here. I'll join him. Okay. Me too. Okay. okay. Uh, yeah. You I all dramatically on throw the, ca- the, the curtains open. Uh, you open up the curtains dramatically. Arrows fly at us. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, backstage, you know, it's a very short little platform that then has stairs that go down to the side. Uh, on both sides of the, the backstage. Okay. Uh, Anything on the stage? Uh, no. Anything backstage where you look, look around? The sets? Any, like, yeah, costumes, people? Um, the, af- after the, no people, but, uh, you know, as these stairs the stairs go down to the left and to the right, you see that um, there are doors on either side. Like, there's, okay. a, there's like, a little complex Does of... Does it seem to go to the same back? They kind of wrap around, okay. yeah. Be- yeah. Before we go, did we want to wake up the other dead guys, or do we kind of know... Uh, I- does that mean up to you? I'll, I'll quickly run around and high five the last dead guys. <laughs> the remaining two? Yeah. Uh, similar things happen. Make me two more constitution saving throws. That's a. That's a. Six. Sorry, the math is hard. In 12. Six and 12? Yeah. Yeah, you're also a sneezy boy. Okay. Elga, you're the only one not afflicted with this uh, sneezing fit. It is because I'm so young and so spry. <laughs> so healthy. <laughs> it's your daily regimen of eating bloody fingernails. Uh, Let's go. If they go inside, we'll, we'll circle them around. Yeah. Split them which, di- uh, which direction would you like to go? Yeah, do you go west or east? East. Okay. Uh, while we're heading east, I want to look up. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, make a perception check. They would love to. That is a 17. Uh you see up in the rafters, hanging high in them, um, there are like cloth sacks hanging from uh, from the rafters. Sandbags. Yeah. These don't like, look like sandbags. They're like counterweights? They don't like, they don't like sound, sandbags. No, they're, they're, weird, they're weirdly shaped. I fly up and investigate. Uh, you fly up and take a look, and you see that there's an entire orchestra's worth of musical instruments wrapped up in uh, cloths hanging precariously from the rafters above. Weird. Uh, like in um, just multiple bags? Yeah. Oh, that's where the music is heard. <laughs> heard? Played. Or played. <laughs> uh, Ooh, I, maybe we should play some music. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I do, uh, I say, heads up, and I, I slash all the things. Oh, no. Yeah, you, you barely have to touch them. They're very precariously okay. hanging. And all of the, uh, the orchestral uh, instruments that are dangling above fall uh, to the ground below. Luckily... But he'd warned you, otherwise you all would be taking a lot of damage right now. Uh, I want to grab a wait, tuber. What? Which, uh, a tuber. Uh, an entire orchestra... <laughs> like a potato? In- no, a tuber. Big old tuber. A potato. I was going to say an entire orchestra of instruments falling to the ground would sound like... <laughs> Honestly, probably. That, that's pretty good. That's yeah, pretty accurate. good. That was good. I, like I don't that. know if throwing the water bottle around on purpose was intentional, but it worked. That was good. So we just went... <laughs> uh, okay. Can I get one, one lone trumpet? <laughs> <laughs> I think someone pooped themselves. <laughs> That's great. Okay. Okay, yeah, all the musical instruments are um, down on the on the backstage. I'll take a tuber. Okay. A potato? 
A tumor, a big old a potato. Wah, 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 wah. A skeleton. What what other instruments are there? Um, there's uh, violins, a harp, some drums. Uh, drums. Uh, drums? Okay. Yes. You call them. Percussion. You got them. Clarinets. I heard that the Squidwars enjoy clarinet. No, they're, they're really big into oboes. Uh, <laughs> Piccolo. Um, all right, so y'all were going east? Is that what we're doing? Or, well, they, they were going to grab gonna... instruments. Are you going to grab one? Yeah, I'll grab one. I'll okay. Grab. Are you going to play something, all of you? A harp. <laughs> yeah, a harp, a tuba, and a drum. That's all you need for a Classic. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So do they you know harps are big and heavy, right? Yeah. Okay. Can we, just, can we try playing them? Yeah, make a performance check. Everybody? I don't like how you keep looking over at Micah. Right. Oh, no, no, I'm looking at you, Barbara. Oh. <laughs> Micah just happens to be, like, in that eyesight. I usually can't see him because you're, you're blocking him. You said performance? Yeah. You guys roll performance? Oh, sure. You're playing. A one and a two and a one, two, three. What'd you roll? Three. <laughs> <laughs> oh, six. No. You wish it sounded like that <laughs> with a six. It's just... <laughs> Seven. Oh. We are terrible. <laughs> Look, nice. we heard the music. Yeah. <laughs> Look over and Barney's just chewing on the strings of the harp. <laughs> Is this how you do it? <laughs> He's flossing. Yeah. <laughs> Is this what the kids are talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Does that do anything? No, nothing happens. Okay. okay. Uh, we head east. Uh, you, uh, I land and walk with uh, Barney. Uh, you all head to the east, and as you know, there's... Um, a couple of doors. There's one to your left and one to your right. So you get, you exit the stage to the east, and then you have to turn to your left. And there's like a small hallway. And there's a door to your left, a door to your right, and it seems like the hallway curves further up ahead around to the left. Oh, okay. And so that would, so kind of like leading into the back of the backstage. Correct. Okay. Yeah, so check out these here doors. Let's check the doors. Um, open the, the one, one to on the, the left. Okay, there you go. Thank yeah. you. you I will simultaneously mind. open the one on the right. Okay. Uh, you open the one, I'll do him real fast, then I'll come to you. You open the door to your left, and it appears to be uh, a dressing room of some kind. There's hanging costumes, mirrors, and a row of vanities. What's uh, there's one large mirror in this dressing room that's covered in a web of cracks. Okay. Oh. Uh, well, I'm invisible, but can I see myself? Uh, yeah, you uh, look into the mirror, and even though you're invisible, you see your, your own face, your own reflection. Weird. But it's like a horrif- an even more horrifying, distorted version of yourself. Um, I was just rude. You hear, <laughs> you hear a scream come from nowhere. It seems like it's disembodied, and the mirror shatters. I'm not that ugly, you know. <laughs> I was up for prom king back in high school. I didn't win it, but I'm not that ugly, you know. <laughs> Make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, okay. Chip would be somebody who peaked in high school. <laughs> you shush. <laughs> uh, that is a 14. Okay. Uh, we're going to pause you and we're going to go over here okay. to, the, uh, to the other room. Um, you know, while Chip is opening up that other door, at the same time, you open up this door that's to the right. And this seems to be some kind of prop closet. Mm. Uh, you find furniture, uh, some painted scenery, and construction material. And uh, there's a clipboard hanging by the door. I check the clipboard. Um, there is a, a sign-out sheet for props. Mm. Any names I recognize? Uh, make an investigation check. <laughs> if the murderer signed out the murder weapon, <laughs> this guy deserves to get caught. Yeah. Giant machete. <laughs> 16. Um, yeah, the last item signed out was a ring of petrification, but the name next to it's hard to read. It's a really awful handwriting. It's something like Madam Aardvark. Uh, as you're looking at the clipboard, you hear a scream come from the room that Chip was just in. Oh. Uh, I grab the clipboard and turn to see what's going on in the van, in the uh, dressing room. Uh, Barney and Elga, where are you two? What are you all doing at this point? I'm just outside the the doors. I, I would I would when I hear the scream, I think I'd go with. Would you head over there yeah. too? I'll stay out here for protection. Okay. Uh, yours? No, yours. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the two of you who head over to the dressing room that Chip was in, you see Chip is gone. And there is a, the, the wood flooring appears to have given away. Oh. And now there's a, a pit seems to go into a space, an area below. Oh, so I fell down once the glass shattered? 
Yes. But okay, we're gonna, but are you still we're gonna hold the details on that until okay. everyone yeah. gets caught up. Olga <laughs> comes in and starts slapping. <laughs> Windmilling. <laughs> uh, and so the, the the vanities are both. Are there's two vanities that are broken now? Uh, there was just uh, one large mirror that was uh, covered in cracks, which is you, you wouldn't know that actually, but it's broken. You see where a large broken. mirror was, okay. and it's broken now. Does uh, I look down into the hole? Yeah, you see Chip down there. He's uh, a well, does he? Oh no, you don't see. You don't see anything <laughs> down in the hole. I'm oh, sorry. Dang Thank it! You. you see a perfect dust silhouette of a man. <laughs> <It's> just. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Chip, are you down there? Ow! <laughs> <laughs> How far did he fall? Probably about 20 feet. Okay. Oh, and he takes. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Teacher, you forgot the homework. <laughs> Six points of damage. Jeez, you have taken some damage. Yeah. Um, Elga comes in the room and goes, What do you see down there, Chip? <sighs> My pride. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's up here. Oh. <laughs> Along with your dignity. Uh, I look around. I, okay. And I have dark vision. Okay. Um, the musty smell of damp earth fills the air. You look around and see cavern walls lined with skulls and bones. You feel the tingling of goosebumps tickle your spines. To the north, past some dilapidated columns, you notice... Yeah, yeah, that's what you see for now. I'll, I'll keep reading the rest okay. more, if, if more people come down. So uh, you're in a, a cavern with walls that are lined with skulls and bones. Okay. Uh, lots and lots of skeletons. Uh, bones, skulls, hip bones, uh, jaw bones, finger bone, kneecaps. I, uh, pokey pokey. Femurs. I drop down directly where the sound is coming from. Toxic. <laughs> Okay, so uh, Matid is down there as well? Yeah. What other types of bones do you see? <laughs> oh my god. Funny bone. Okay. Uh, ribs. Uh -huh. Hot baby back. Uh huh. What else? Do you see any stinky dragon dice? Unfortunately, they're sold out at RTX, but they're going to be at store.roosterteeth.com on August 3rd. Hey, <laughs> Shameless plugs. <laughs> <laughs> Olga jumps down. <laughs> Barney? Is there, is there any other way? It's a 20 foot drop. Uh, uh, the major says, uh, I can lower some rope for you. Okay, you are 100% trustworthy. Yes, I hired you. Uh, the major, you know, pulls out some rope and ties it around um, uh, a, a support column. That's, here we go. Yep. All right, he, uh, you begin the way down, and he starts following you down the rope as well. All right, we're all in there. All right, uh, you all come down, and you see the same thing Chip described, the uh, the damp earth smell filling the air. You see the cavern walls lined with skulls and bones. However, to the north, now that you're all here, uh, you notice a cloaked figure kneeling atop a dais near a stone statue. Spooky. Oh, hello there! <laughs> oh. The effigy appears out of a squid wharf with an eternal expression of shock and horror. The cloaked figure rises, and beneath their mantle, you see the glint of armor and a steely blade. Who dares approach the apparition of the Aria? Oh, ah. oh it's Barney Barney, and I'm here for the army of investigation. Uh. Barney, you have a beautiful voice. Could you sing me another song? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Here's my friend. It's a little girl. That song. That song. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh, no. I'm gonna lead now. <laughs> uh, did I do it? That song do anything to the uh, guy? Uh, he's gone. <laughs> he's co he's uh, covering. He's just his looking at you with a perplexed <laughs> look. He's covering his ears. Yeah. He uh, says, "I see." I am Broderick Wagel, Brody to my companions, a gifted and accomplished opera performer for the Aria Theater. Oh. And then down. Oh. <laughs> 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 Many moons ago, <laughs> I fell in love <laughs> with a local playwright by the name of Casey Dulce. 
and the feeling was mutual. Oh no! But Casey's family had arranged for them to be married to a local militia man and forbade me from seeing them. Can oh. Major hear any of this? <laughs> Make a perception check. Oh, he's supposed to have come down with us. That's uh, a 14 plus minus one. <laughs> 13. He's not here. <gasps> oh no! Oh. Where's your best friend? The Who's innocent? Uh huh. <laughs> so he lowered you down, and then that was the last He came song. down. Did right? He started. But... Oh, he started. That was your phrase. Uh, okay. I made sure Barney went down first. Smart. Okay, so. Yeah, he might be after the Phantom of the Aria. I look back to see if. Phantom of the what? <laughs> Higher! <laughs> and then down. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Good. Now, what we should do is go high, <laughs> middle, low. <laughs> I was trying to That's do good. different little harmonies. Yeah. Good. Uh, uh, Singing. I'm trying. I don't have anything to say. Oh, uh, you were saying, oh. what? "Are you dead?" Are you asking him or me? You looked right at me when you did it. <laughs> uh, I'm just realizing it's the first time that Matias. <laughs> 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 oh, I was asking the uh, uh, you sing Phantom. it. You have to sing it. Are you dead? <laughs> Um, um, mm, mm, mm. I'm just, I have a lot of oh, yeah. details to yes. get through. I'm trying to figure out how to. He's just trying to think of what he wants yeah, to yeah. sing. Uh, no, I don't have to sing yet. 30 seconds. Over time, my mortal flesh diminished, but the song of my soul remained stalwart, and I shall never depart from my Casey's side until her petrification is lifted and our love reunited in harmony. Was Casey, by any chance, the wife of Major Arshlar? She, she was. Casey Dulce. Indeed. <gasps> uh, Our star-crossed love could not be kept apart. We met under the Shroud of Night at the Aria Theater. Oh! Why is it in the middle of the line? Where we spent many hours conversing, making sweet music, <laughs> and watching the oh. rising of sublime sunrises. Uh, can... Uh, where is your, uh, your KC? She's a statue! Oh! One of the statues! Oh! The one right here. Oh. There's She's a, right here! There's a statue in here? Yeah. Okay, oh. there you go. <laughs> After weeks of euphoric affection, Casey and I decided to flee this town. That's a long time! start our own traveling theater troupe. As always, we plan to meet here at the Aria Theater. But Casey never showed up. I searched and searched for my lover until I found her body here, petrified in the catacombs. Oh. Does Elga, could Elga see if the statue of Casey looks like the statues that were outside the theater? Uh, make a... Squid Wars. They could have all been petrified people. Yeah. Yeah, make a, let's call it a wisdom check. Uh, well, I got a follow-up question. Elga's doing that. I'd like to look at the statue's hands. Uh, is there something specifically you're looking for? A ring. Uh, the, oh, or a fingernail. Uh, the, the statue is wearing uh, a ring. Seven. Seven. Uh, I mean, I guess. The Squid Wars, the all. I don't know. They're kind of weird. Elk is not one for the arts. Nah. Eight. Uh, I, uh, could I, is the ring in a position that I could take it off? Um, maybe. Uh, it's kind of an awkward position because you're still kind of far. Uh, Brody's between you and the uh, oh. the statue. Where's the statue in the room? Uh, it's kind of behind oh, okay. Brody. Uh, you know, uh, as as your chip says while invisible. <laughs> as, as you're you know looking at this and thinking about it and looking at the statues, there's a loud crash. Oh no! no. Uh, as a trio of decaying squid wars fall through the ceiling overhead and land surrounding you. As the dust clears, you spot Major Arschlock land near the base of the dais and he draws his sword. Aha, uh -huh. you have been caught at the scene of the crime, you foul phantom. Fret not, sweet Casey, I shall avenge you. Come now, my friends, let us send this evil apparition back to the ether where they belong. Oh. They remember. <laughs> Everyone roll initiative. Oh. While Thriller starts playing. <laughs> That's a 18 plus two, 20. I have a 15. Uh, 11. 18. Okay, and I'm going to roll for the Major and for Brody, your two good friends. How are we supposed to know which of these lovers killed the woman? 
a, uh, what we could do is we could kill both of them. Here's oh. an insult. <laughs> Stakes are low, you know, it's a one-off. <laughs> <laughs> Barney, what's your dexterity? <laughs> My dexterity? Plus two. Okay. Uh, all right. So, Chip, you're up first, followed by Barney. Okay. Uh, I'm invisible. Uh, so, therefore, I have, I guess, advantage. I have the assassinate thing, which is you advantage on attack rolls against any creature that hasn't taken a turn in combat yet, so that would be major. And any hit you score against a creature uh, that is surprised is a critical hit. So I think I'm, I'm going to move to major and uh, shank him with my arm blade. Oh, I see. You've taken you've taken your side. <laughs> yeah, no, I like this phantom of the place that we're in. <laughs> phantom of the song? That's the one. And uh, you know the name of the theater. Say it. Phantom of the aria. Pa 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 pa. <laughs> I'm also, I have sneak attack, which is once per turn you can deal an extra 2d6 damage to one creature you hit with an attack with a finesse or ranged weapon. If you have an advantage on the attack roll, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. yeah, so I'm just gonna use my arm blade. So you wanna, you wanna roll that? Or? Yeah, yeah, go for okay. it. Okay, here we go. And we're attacking Brody, right? He is. No, he's, ta he's attacking, he's attacking major. major. That was a seven, but I have advantage, correct? Because I'm invisible? Correct. Please give me something. That's a nat 20. Bye bye. Ooh. Uh, so I got a 1d4. That's a 2. Then we're going to add a 4 to that because it's um, your max added. So that'll be 2 plus 2 it's plus four. 4. So that's 8. Mm -hmm. And then I have uh, sneak attack, which is extra 2d6 damage. Yeah, I'm just messing this full up. 3. Six. So that's nine, nine additional. So what, 17, 17 total? <laughs> yeah. It's a good hit. Is, is it my, am I done? Yeah. You're not Kyborg, you don't get to go like I five know. times. I played him yesterday and I was like, <laughs> my boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so 17? Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. And oh. then also I want to, can I use my movement to uh, stay put? Never mind. <laughs> maybe maybe go up behind the major. They're gonna jog in place. Okay. Yeah, keep my heart rate up. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, you uh, unleash a flurry of attacks, uh, really doing a lot of damage to the major. He uh, screams in pain. Mama mia! <laughs> oh, you could do better than that. Mama mia! Is that better? It's meant pain. I want, I... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, Barney. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Was that it for you, Chip? Uh, I have another one. Yeah, 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 let's call it for now. I don't want to hog the limelight here. Are you being real? I'm being real. I'm sorry. All right, Barney, you're up, followed by Brody, then Elga. Uh, so, so... Oh, hide. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cunning action, hide. Hide. Ah. You're already invisible, but okay, got so it. So what's the layout of everyone around? He turns around. Um, you all, you know, are still kind of where you landed for the most part. And then to a little to the north of you is that statue and Brody and the Major. Uh, well, the Major's north of us too? Yeah, the, he kind of landed and is engaged. And his little buddies that landed with him? They're splattered, or they're kind of between, in, you know, roughly between you and um, the north. Okay. Hey, buddies, what, what's their deal? They're just like those dead squid wards. And what, like they're dead? Like you saw up above. But up, they're moving. Yeah, and, up above. Okay, and are, how close are they to from me? Uh, I'd say probably within 10, 15 feet. I. Okay, well, I, Barney just fell. I'm dead. Ooh. His ankle again. As an action, you present your holy symbol, you speak a prayer. Uh, any, each undead that can see or hear you within 30 feet must make a wisdom saving throw. This creature fails at saving throw. It is turned for one minute or until it takes any damage. Uh, the turned creature must spend its turn trying to move as far away from you as it can, and it can't willingly move to space within 30 feet of you. It also can't take reactions. First action, it can only use the dash action to try to escape from an effect that it from moving. Okay, so they have to make a DC 14 wisdom saving throw, it looks like. What is Barney's holy symbol? It's his little, uh, his little clock. Oh, that's Watch. right. It's the monster logo. Oh. <laughs> For energy drinks. <laughs> Not sponsored. All right, 15, 15, 15. They all make it. Oh. Uh, Matit, what's your saving throw? 
Dang it. Oh, DC sucks. 14 wisdom. Um, See, now Barney didn't know you were undead. I, uh, neither did Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a, I want cons, I want uh, audience. I, was, I rolled a 10. Audience inspiration. Can I get, can I get an audience? Just grab anybody. On hands. It's plus three. Eight plus three. I, 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 you did not help. Good. <laughs> Way to go, Andrew. <laughs> get, get another, get another one. Get a, get a different audience inspiration. Oh, I got double inspiration. That would have been nice for me. <laughs> <laughs> Someone roll? A 20. Oh! oh. Boy, here you go. Come up here, Mr. 20. Come over oh, here. Oh, nice. For rolling a 20, I'm going to give you our final uh, Stinky Dragon die that we have. Yeah, thank you. Fun fact about those dice, Gus licked every single one of them. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> They were lovingly warmed in my crotch for the last hour I sat here. <laughs> Not even a joke, they've just been sitting, they've been down sitting there. there. <laughs> Can you we, smell we, the warmth? Are you trying to hatch some like eggs? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, Matid uh, makes their saving throw. What does uh, saving well. do for me? You're so just I, unaffected by it. Unaffected by it. I, I give a sharp look at that old man. What? I glare at him. It didn't work. The squid wharves were unaffected as well. Okay. They all rolled 15s. Also made all three of them. I, I made an observation that the, the three plays, the, the act, it was song, script, and sword. That's who the characters are. It was, the phantom was the song, and then she was the script writer, and then he's the sword. Oh. oh. You just made Micah so happy. Yeah. One of us got that. <laughs> and now I'm going back into it. <laughs> Micah's got his hands up. <laughs> I'd say on average, 85% of his references that we just Signal don't even notice yeah. whatsoever. Way too smart for us. Yeah. Uh, We're wh idiots. What else do you want to do, Barney? Well, that went so well. You want to mess me up some more? Uh, Come at me, old man. Jeez. I'll drop you. <laughs> <laughs> I want you guys to fight in real life. Uh, so you can do it. For my bonus action. He's such the saddest fight ever. <laughs> me and Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna use my bonus action to, to cast Spiritual Weapon. Uh, and I create a floating spectral weapon. Which is? Uh, the monster logo. Uh, <laughs> it's gonna be an angry old man fist. Okay, a wrinkly fist appears. <laughs> and what do you, uh, what do you, who do you channel it at? Uh, at at the, the major. Okay. And uh, you make a melee attack against a creature within five feet of the weapon takes force damage equal to 1d8 plus well, my spellcasting ability. Make your attack first. Let's see how that goes. Right. Is this, it. was the turning the undead like a bonus action? This, this, the spiritual yeah. weapon's a bonus action. Oh, okay. That's 18. Nice. Oh, that hits. Ooh. Ooh. 8 plus 4, 12. Ooh. Very good. Yeah, your uh, old man, spectral old man fist appears. Just uh, get off my lawn! <laughs> Uh, and uh, smashes the major, uh, doing 12 points of damage. That's, that's a pretty good amount. He's that's, a, that's a good amount. He's uh, he's staggering a little bit. Mm. Uh, um, is that it for you, Barney? And that's it. All right, it's Brody's turn. Oh, <laughs> Brody. <laughs> <laughs> Very much so. Yeah. Only to his friends. <laughs> uh, uh, Brody. Uh, unsheaths a long sword and takes a couple of swipes at the major. Oh, right, they're fighting each other. Yeah. <laughs> you were like preparing. Yeah. Oops. And does he hit, or do they hit? A two and a six. Those are both misses. Okay. Oh. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Stick to singing, yeah, Phantom. <laughs> uh, make a, that's a really good point. Make a perception check. Okay. That's a 15 minus one. Do you have any positive modifiers? <laughs> I am very charismatic. Okay. <laughs> you, think that, you think that Brody's fighting with a prop sword. That's embarrassing. What a, <laughs> what a theater kid move. <laughs> um, Elga, you're up then, Matid. All right, well, I'm on a rage. <laughs> How's that look like? <laughs> so angry. What does Elga think about to get angry? What, oh, uh, I think about nuns. Onion rings. <laughs> onion rings. <laughs> onion rings? <laughs> Wait, garlic, Wait, onion garlic, rings. shoot. Onion rings dipped in garlic. Ah. 
I think about the garlic butter from Papa John. Ah. <laughs> so gross. Okay. <laughs> gross. Onion rings. Sorry, I thought garlic. I sorry. <laughs> But Barbara just went with it. Barbara didn't do check it at all. You know, when they give you onion rings at the restaurant, they sometimes too much batter to oh, onion, yeah, yeah. not enough onion to batter ratio. Yeah. Although, <laughs> I like the idea of the lore of our vampires, onions, I, not garlic. Yeah. Mm. Uh, okay, yeah, so you rage. Uh, and then I want to uh, try to do my bite of sucking on... <laughs> uh, let's all be adults here. <laughs> On a major. Okay. Do you have to, uh, what's your uh, a roll for Actually, um, let me actually use my great axe on him instead. Okay. Just, that's an upgrade? Yeah. Ooh. I want to do my great axe. All right, so, uh, uh, your attack roll. Six. So, yeah. Yes. Okay. Can we fly? Did you say, can we fly? I, think, yeah, I just looked at me. Barney, you have flying speed? Uh, what's your flying speed? <laughs> 60. Well, you have the carpet. Does that come out yet? Oh, no, you <laughs> You don't, you don't. <laughs> okay, no don't one's tell spoiling. anyone. <laughs> it was a nat 20 for 26. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> Do a backflip. Doing, oh my gosh, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> we are doing, okay. 18 points of damage. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, it, uh, it already, see it already added your 12 in there. Finish. Whoa. Yep. Um, I guess, do I add also because I'm raging? Like a two? Sorry, I'm used to, uh, plus two melee damage to strength. So 20. 20. 20 points of damage. Is this Ooh. dude alive still? Uh, the major is, uh, severely staggering on his feet, barely staying upright. Uh, but he's like, he's still trying to fight. He's still got his dukes up. No. Finish yes. <laughs> <laughs> And they go, you're going to tell us the truth, major. <laughs> now she's just making fun of this man. <laughs> Mama mia. <laughs> uh, is, that's all you can do, right, Elga? Yeah. Okay, uh, Matid, it's your turn. Then it's the major. Um, could I get to the statue? Yeah, sure, why not? I go to the statue and I uh, try to yank the ring off. You said that it was in a position I could pull it off, right? Yeah, you think you could. Okay, I go and do that. Um, uh, yeah. What happens? I'm trying to think what kind of check you get. Uh, make Loading. a, let's call it like a dexterity check, just because you have to kind of be dexterous to try to get it off. Lovely. Uh, that's 12. 12. It's, um, it's, it's, a, it's like a little stuck. Like, the stone isn't as pliable as flesh, so it seems like it's not, you don't know how it got on there, because you can't quite get it over the knuckle. Oh, okay. Um, mm. Okay, would that count as like my action? We'll call that a bonus. Call that a bonus? Okay. Then could I actually, uh, then can I try again? If that's my bonus, can I take an action and try to remove it again? Sure, why not? Okay, I'd like to do that. I'm, I'm stuck on this. No, it's stuck on her. Correct. 14? Did that do anything for you? Yeah, it's so close. I have an actual inspiration. Can I use it? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna use my actual inspiration. Or wait, audience? No, I already no, used audience. Kid. I got twice because I'm the good kid. Uh, <laughs> what does that make me? God, I am just, I can't do this. 11. Oh. So a total of. <laughs> 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 um, okay, so all you guys see is Missy fly over there and just yep, yep, messing with her ring. A ring. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Why are you holding hands with this statue, Missy? <laughs> <laughs> Awkward. It, it's like, have you ever seen like when like birds are like holding onto something and flapping as they're like trying to do it? You hear a lot of that. Like you can't get it. Yeah, yeah, just like holding on. <laughs> what, what does a, a bird flapping sound like? Oh yeah, big flaps. One, two, three. <laughs> but with the squawking. Oh yeah. One, two, three. <laughs> Sounds like the tiki room. Uh, Hold to the raven. Anything else, uh, Matid? Um, I, I no, that's action. That's um. No, I'm good. Okay. That's, right. that's, that's my turn. I'm fine with that. Uh, it's the Major's turn. Uh oh He says, oh, I no feel so good. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to die. <laughs> I really hope you are dead. This is sad. This is very sad. <laughs> I found my missing wife. <laughs> Let the record show, show Matid has not attacked this man. <laughs> Uh, uh, then uh, Major Arschloch <laughs> falls to the ground uh, and appears to pass away from his wounds. Oh, no. uh, uh, 
and <laughs> Brody uh, uh, cries out uh, in sadness. Wait, <laughs> what? For my wa- oh, his Bro- my Brody. wife is gone and I'm alone. Brody's the guy with the sword who's the singer. Uh, it's your wife. Oh, my wife. Not my wife. Sorry. My beloved is gone and now I'm alone. They were doing a love triangle. So- oh, it's the boys. <gasps> Did- oh. Wait a second here. <laughs> he explained all this earlier. I think it was but he what said, they call a topple. But he wanted to attack him, though. He, that's, he drew the sword at... He's upset that Casey is petrified. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, sorry, I see there was a misunderstanding. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. My beloved is I my thought we hate crime him, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and now I'm alone. I thought they were all in Sorry. Love. Yeah, yeah. Well, I thought, my apologies. Because you had said her name, and now I was like, wait, did we get that whole no, thing no, wrong? No, no, no. That's yeah, well, okay. he's still singing, I just kind of close his eyes. Oh, rest in peace. Oh, shoot. So he's sad that she's still petrified. Right. Can I? Are the, are There's the, uh, no way to bring her back. Can, can I run to, to the major? Who's dead? Yeah, well, is he dead? Because I can, I can uh, uh, do uh, um, mm-hmm. a, uh, an aid. Wait, I hearing think we are or? Trying yeah. To unpetrify maybe his love. He's going to the major, the major though. Major. Who just. Cast aid, which okay. brings, regains five hit points to. Um, gotta, gotta wrap it up in here. Yeah. Maybe here. we should get that ring off the statue like Matilda was trying. All right, what with, time is it? With all of our powers combined, with let's aid, pull I off. cast aid to pull the ring off. Yeah. We all go and pull the ring. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, you're able to pull it off, and you notice that it's a, a ring of petrification, which could be used to lift Casey's petrified state. Okay. Wait, that, I have to use the ring to lift it? Yeah. Okay, I put it on, and I, uh, unmedusa this chick. Uh, Casey regains her flesh form, uh, and you reunite, uh, make stone again. Brody and Casey <laughs> together. Um... Uh, and it's uh, the two uh, embrace uh, happily, being reunited. Um, hey, we killed but- your uh, husband. Sorry, I'm <laughs> invisible. You can't, you can't see me, but I'm here. Oh, uh, we were never married. He kidnapped me. Oh, you're looking the wrong direction. I'm, I'm the other way around. Oh, there you are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, thank you. Uh, our families and the town will learn from our arch- archaic ways. We'll abolish these uh, these uh, forced marriages and uh, dismantle this unnecessary militia, and we will welcome people from all walks of life. Can cool. I go to one of the uh, the undead guys and be like, I'm, I'm, I'm I would, but we're out of time. Uh, <laughs> uh, Casey is so inspired that I will write an opera in honor of your heroism called The Apparition of the Aria. I. <laughs> I have a surprise. Oh, you do? Is that the end of the story? Yeah, it's the end of the story. Okay. Woo! You guys want to sneak peek at something? Yeah! They haven't even seen these. Yeah, yet. I have no idea. What? Okay. What the? You guys want to see the next puppets? Yeah! Oh! What? What? I had no, I- we had no idea this was yeah. here. Yeah. I just saw my mom uh, last weekend, and she handed them to me. Oh, wow. So I figured you guys would like this. Okay, so first we have... <laughs> okay. You want to grab him? Uh-huh. It opens. Be careful. Oh. You're going to want to open it right Look at this little stinker. O- o- open that up. What's it Open got? it up. Oh, those, you're going to want to see what's in there. Those thighs. Is that a thing? Beautiful. She might have sealed it because there he goes. What's the in there? Zipper? Toilet paper. No, Just unfurl it. Okay. A note? Oh, wow. <laughs> What's it say? To Chip from Carol, with much love in every stitch, I made this for e- etc. We've all heard the oh podcast. She transcribed the entire wow. thing. Oh. Your poor mother. That is love so it. Good. it looks like she was writing on like a, a, a piece of rice. Yeah. yeah. Little Elga. Aww. Little Elga. Oh. <laughs> with her battle axe. She is so perfect. She's so cute. With her hair out of her eyes, there she is. Look at her. Oh, look at the little toofs. That's <laughs> so cute. Very cute. And then Barney. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> look at him. <laughs> look at him. Oh, my God. Oh, wait, I forgot. He also comes with an optional hat. <laughs> there you go. His little helmet. He's good. Okay. <laughs> and then last but surely not least is uh, Matid. Oh. This is Matid. Wow. 
Beautiful. And Mati comes with a little basket full of baguette and pretzel and pan and pies. Is there one additional everything. character in there? There's actually one more additional character. There's two versions of this character. There is a Jacques. Oh. And there is a Jacques. Oh. <laughs> okay. Right. And those are all made by our mother. Thank you. Tell it Ours, me, my Patty. Girl. Not theirs. And, and uh, they're, they're, they're flashing. Please wrap up, Athos. <laughs> yep, we're good. <laughs> we got to go. Thank you, everyone, for coming out. Uh, thank you for all your support for Tales from the Stinky Dragon. Thank you, guys. Well, hey there. Chip Haney here. Salutations, my stinky supporters. Did you know that you can directly support the show and interact with us by subscribing at stinkydragonpod.com slash first. Cool, talented, amazing first stinkers like Hold Doll 85, Vash the Stamp, Magic SW5, Ethel Lube, or Casbriels. They're all directly supporting the show and they get access to more great content like Second Wind. They interact with us on our subscriber-only Discord channels. And more! Again, that's stinkydragonpod.com slash first. Oh, this episode of Tales from the Stinky Dragon was produced by Ben Ernst, written, edited, and composed by Micah Reisinger with additional editing work by David Sonye. Here's a quick shout out to folks that interact with us on social media recently. Here are some NPCs named after them in this episode. Broderick Brody Wagle, the apparition of the Aria, was named after Broadway Ghoul on Instagram. Casey Dulce, the playwright, was named after Sugar Syringes on Twitter. Major Arschlock was named after Major Arschlock on Twitter. Hey, you should go follow us on Sneaky Dragon Pod. We're on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and YouTube's. Interact with the community over on our subreddit, r slash Stinky Dragon Podcast, or on the Rooster Teeth Discord. For access to the Discord, go to stinkydragon.com, and on the left side there of the page, click on Community, then Discord, right underneath it. See you there! Oh, don't forget to tune in next time for another thrilling episode of Tales from the Stinky Dragon. Has anybody seen my wife, Carol? Carol.